This day the whole world felt the fear of being dominated by a giant object. It was an alien spacecraft with a diameter of nearly 60 kilometers. As it passed through the Earth's atmosphere, the sky was ablaze with flames. People, who had never seen such a sight before, were terrified. Cars on the street collided frequently. Everyone was scared out of their wits as they watched the alien spacecraft spread across the sky. Those who were a little more sober began to run away desperately. The whole city was instantly thrown into panic. The president immediately turned on a nationwide live address, trying to calm the frightened people. But in the face of such a huge alien battleship, panic had already spread through the crowd. They began to pack their bags and plan to leave the city. Even more unbelievably, a man was shouting madly on TV. Despite countless rumors of alien incidents, now the rumors are true. Some extreme people are not panicking at all. They gather on the rooftops of tall buildings, holding up signs welcoming the aliens. Jeff Goldblum is a computer engineer. He accidentally deciphered the signals of an alien spacecraft hidden in a satellite. It turns out there's not just one alien spacecraft visiting Earth, but as many as 15. They're in the skies above every major city in the world. When they are ready, they will attack the whole Earth. And that will be the end of human civilization. Jeff Goldblum rushed to the White House with his father. He tried to tell the president what he thought, but it was too late. The military, as a gesture of goodwill, sent a helicopter called the welcome to the vicinity of the alien ship, trying to communicate with the aliens through light signals. However, in response to the friendly attitude of the American people, the alien ship responded directly with a laser missile. The helicopter was instantly turned into ashes. It was really a bad thing. For the first time in history, a war between humans and extraterrestrial civilizations was about to break out. The hatch at the bottom of the ship opened slowly. A blue light illuminated the entire city. As a column of light poured down, the 2,000-foot-tall building was flattened like cardboard. Burning flames swept through the city like a sea wave. At this moment, everyone felt the response of the aliens. The huge shockwave instantly destroyed everything. Although people tried desperately to escape, but they could not escape the judgment of death. Some people were still struggling for the last time. Some had given up treatment and were waiting to die. At the same time, a laser cannon attacked the White House to smithereens, but Air Force One escaped and scathed. In just a few seconds, half the city was almost in ruins. In the midst of the panic, a mother is running for her life with her child in her arms. Seeing the impending disaster, he kicked open the maintenance room in the tunnel, and then hid inside with her son. He then called out to the dogs to escape. In the last moment of death, the dog also jumped in. When all was calm, the whole city was in ruins. Only the mother and son and a dog survived. The military immediately organized a counterattack. The war between humans and aliens was officially started. The pilots were shocked by the huge thing in front of them. Holy God. But there was no time to be afraid of the situation. With the general's order, all fighter planes began to lock on the target. Then numerous missiles were fired at the alien ship. However, things didn't go as smoothly as expected. The missiles were as harmless as rain on glass. There was a layer of energy waves outside the alien battleship. The first wave of attack failed. The group of fighters immediately adjusted the direction of attack. Several missiles were fired at the alien battleship again. The result was still the same. Seeing that the battleship was getting closer and closer, the pilots hurriedly pulled upwards. One fighter had no time to react, but crashed into the protection team. Instantly, it was destroyed. Their comrades were not to be taken lightly. They needed to get out of range of the ship immediately, but it was too late. Thousands of alien ships flew out of the battleship, and they attacked back. The moment the two sides meet, the human fighters have suffered heavy losses, but the enemy is intact. It turns out that these small alien ships have strong shields. The humans were no match for the enemy. From the command center, we can only watch as the fighters continue to suffer casualties. But there was nothing we could do. The technological gap is so great. The president immediately ordered the fighters to retreat in time. However, in the face of thousands of times more enemies, human warplanes could only be destroyed continuously. Although two planes managed to escape, but two alien ships were still chasing after them. In order to distract the enemy, the combatants pulled upwards quickly. As a result, the cabin was deprived of oxygen and lost control. The next second, they were destroyed by the enemy. At the same time, countless alien ships flew to the North American Air Defense Base. The entire base was mercilessly attacked by the enemy. The scene is like a real-life version of the Star Wars. Faced with the high-tech alien ships, 
Soldiers who had no time to escape were killed and injured. The air base was instantly destroyed. On the other hand, the alien ship chased Will Smith to a canyon. The enemy is right behind him. With familiarity with the canyon, dodged the alien ship shells many times. With fuel running low, Will Smith had a brainstorm. Will Smith pulled the fighter's deceleration device away. Alien spacecraft blocked from view. Then he ejected himself from the cabin, the fighter crashed directly into the cliff in front, and the alien ship was unable to react, followed by a crash into the ground. Will Smith made it out of the air safely, he cursed and walked towards the alien ship. As he opened the enemy hatch, an alien with a tail wagging was about to come out, but Will Smith knocked him out with a punch. Welcome to Earth. This is the alien who was knocked out by Will Smith's punch just now, he was dragging the unconscious alien across the desert, but then he came across a convoy of fleeing aliens, they then arrived at a secret military base nearby, after showing the captured aliens to the guards, the guards quickly let them pass, it turns out that this base is the rumored Area 51, the first wave of alien attacks on Earth, destroyed countless cities, but Area 51 became the only safe place, the president's team, who were lucky enough to escape, came here too. Looking at the alien ship in front of them, everyone was shocked. It turned out that the military had known about the existence of aliens 60 years ago. This is the alien ship that crashed in 1947, and the corpses of the aliens that were made into medicinal wine. The Department of Defense has been conducting secret research on alien spacecraft for decades. Not only that, but Area 51 is hiding even more incredible secrets. The professor immediately told the crowd about the results of decades of research. These aliens were wearing a type of bioarmor. Their tissue structure is similar to that of humans. They are also a relatively fragile organism. They have no vocal cords. They communicate by using a method similar to brainwaves. And that's when, the professor suddenly received a message. An alien who was still alive, was brought to the base at this time, he rushed out to meet him, it turned out that Will Smith came here with the convoy, the alien was immediately taken to the isolation room and prepared for autopsy, the professor began to cut open the alien's armor with a scalpel, but the next moment, it was just a false alarm, as the professor continued the dissection, the crowd finally saw the alien's true face, the alien's hands were slowly moving, they didn't realize the danger that was coming. Immediately afterwards, two figures were reflected in the suddenly open eyeballs. The professor turned his eyes and saw that an invisible energy was stimulating his head. The alien slowly stood up. He immediately launched an attack towards the lab. When the military brass arrived, they only saw a thick smoke enveloping the whole lab. The president cautiously stepped forward. The officer tried to get the professor out, but was stopped by the general, until he saw the tentacles wrapped around the professor's neck. Only then did he realize that the professor was already under his control. As the smoke slowly cleared, the alien finally revealed the eerie voice. Can there be a peace between us? The president fell to the ground with his head in his hands as soon as the words left his mouth. At the general's command, everyone immediately opened fire on the aliens. After some intense pain, the president's consciousness received the ultimate purpose of the aliens' arrival on Earth. They're like locusts. They're moving from planet to planet. Their whole civilization. After they've consumed every natural resource, they move on. The officer took out his pistol and fired several shots at the aliens who were not completely dead. Until the alien was completely dead, the president finally decided to use nuclear weapons against him. Immediately afterwards a B-2 bomber carrying nuclear weapons departs for the alien warship. With a command, a nuclear bomb is launched towards the alien warship. The countdown is over, the bomb hits the target with precision. Just as everyone was cheering, they got the desperate news. The alien battleship was unharmed. In the face of an alien invasion that threatens all of humanity. Is this the end of humanity? At that moment, everyone was in despair. Jeff Goldblum was drunk. He is angry that he can't do anything about it. But his father's words of comfort sobered David up. Jeff Goldblum thought of a way to fight the alien warship. So he rushed to wake up the sleeping scientists. And gathered everyone. He placed a coke can on the alien ship for a shooting experiment. The first time he tried it, the bullet bounced off the shield without a hitch. It scared the hell out of everyone. Next, 
Jeff Goldblum infected the ship with the virus, then let the officer to shoot a second time, and the bullet hit the coke can. The alien ship's shields had disappeared. That's how Jeff Goldblum suddenly came up with a way to make the ship catch a cold. He was going to use the virus. He was going to use this virus to transmit a signal to the alien mothership and destroy the alien ship's shields. Only then can the humans launch a counterattack. But to get to the mothership, they must select two soldiers to travel to outer space in this ship and sneak into it and implant the virus. But even if they succeed, it would only give them a few minutes to fight, or even less. This is the only chance for mankind to prevent any mistakes. Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith are willing to put their lives on the line, and this mission will also be nine lives. Meanwhile, the base began to send a counterattack message to the world via Morse Electric Horse. The two men soon arrived in outer space. A mothership the size of a quarter of the moon stood in front of them. As they approached, the ship suddenly lost control. The ship suddenly lost control and went on autopilot. This is what Jeff Goldblum expected. With his toe, they began to slowly fly into the mothership. Looking at the scene before them, I can't believe this is a spaceship. The ship flew over the heads of a group of aliens, on a huge platform below. Millions of troops of aliens were in perfect alignment. It seems to be preparing to launch the final invasion assembly. The small ship is now secured to Iraq. David hastily opens his computer and starts uploading the virus. At the same time, Earth received the news. Human warplanes are ready to launch. A war was about to begin. Soon the virus was successfully implanted. The virus was very powerful. It was the strongest virus in the world. And the general ordered to fire. The fighters immediately fired a missile at the alien warship. With the appearance of the shield, the missile was successfully intercepted. Seeing that the plan had failed, the fighter group had to retreat for now. But the president was still not satisfied. So he fired another missile at the alien battleship. Everyone was holding their breath at this moment. As the missile exploded on the battleship, the people cheered. The fighter group resumes formation again. They began to concentrate their fire on the alien battleship. But in the face of such a huge battleship, human missiles could not do any fatal damage to it. Then countless alien ships flew out and started to counterattack. The shield has been broken. Humans and aliens are on par with each other. In order to achieve victory, the fighters are also fighting to the death. At the same time, the ground base was also attacked by the alien ships. Soldiers are killed and wounded. Everyone rushed into the bomb shelter. At this moment, the alien warship once again turns on its terrifyingly powerful laser cannon. The president hurriedly fired a missile to try to blow him up, but was caught by the hatch at the bottom. As the laser cannon was about to fire, the old man, who claimed to have been captured by aliens, angrily took off his respirator flew directly to the bottom of the battleship and hit the muzzle of the firing cannon. The alien battleship exploded instantly, bursting into flames. Then it plummeted to the ground. The old man not only avenged himself but also became the hero of the world. Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith on the other side of the space mothership. After completing the mission, they did not expect the ship could not start. The two men were in despair. They greeted the aliens in the command module opposite. Without hesitation, they fired a nuclear bomb at the mothership. Fortunately, the ship's mount suddenly broke loose at that moment. Smith hurriedly launched the ship to escape. Several alien ships were in hot pursuit behind him. Just in the nick of time, the two finally rushed out before the hatch closed. At the same time, the aliens could only watch as the nuclear bomb counted down. The spacecraft was blown to pieces. The human race had finally won. However, unbeknownst to everyone, one second before the spacecraft exploded, an alien distress signal had been sent out. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.